Hello everyone and welcome to the video I'm going to be doing on my um, Raid UI. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of people ask, so I thought I may as well do it. The main thing about my UI is, is it's all incorporated around LVUI. Um, if you download LVUI, you can pretty much customize this yourself. Most of the shit I've done to my own was just because of just my general preferences. So one thing I do is I make the buffs really, really large. So I make them 60 and same with the debuffs. So that it, as soon as I get a debuff or a buff, I know instantly because it's going to be fucking huge on my screen. So that's one thing I do. Another thing is I drag my player frame and my target frame just on top of my, obviously, my action bars just so that I can quickly look at shit if I need to, see how low my health is. And obviously above my player frame I have my cast bar. I think it's class bar is ca class as cast bar. I just have it above that so I know that when shit's going to happen. And obviously I have my raid frames which are just above my chat here. If I'm healing I have them down here but just where's my DPS they're over here just so I can have a quick glance at them to see what everyone's health is at especially because if I need to call for a healer to use a cooldown something like that. And yeah I have my action bars at, if I quickly go onto action bars, my general options for my action bars are I make it so that when I get a cooldown text, it's quite large. So if I have obviously wind burst on cooldown, that comes up. I also for a damage meter, I use Scada and just have it in the bottom right corner, just so it's out of the way and not obviously crowded. And yeah, another thing I have is as well as the just the three general action bars I have on top of each other, I have a fifth one just as a utility bar. Obviously, this shit's got my flasks and stuff on there. Just general shit you don't use often, but it's good to have on your bars, like my yak for fucking looking baller. Um, another thing I use, which you'll see when I get into a raid, if they summon me. I'm just going into a normal groffy now, just so that you, I can show off the UI. Is I use a lot of weak horrors. So for bosses and stuff, if you saw the video I did on um, Argus Mythic, I had a lot of weak horrors and shit going around. Obviously these weak horrors are for MM, I've got the vulnerable window. Because obviously, if I don't know when that's coming down, I can't do DPS. So just general shit like that. And a lot of people have just, you know, general weak auras. I just put them in the middle of the screen. And just have them when stuff comes off cooldown, they pop up. And yeah. That's pretty much it. Just mainly, my main UI is just incorporated around LVUI. And I've got all my action bars stacked on top of each other. Target frame and everything just clumped up. Sometimes it gets a bit hectic, but I kind of like that, especially with my DBM. If I um, try and do a little test, I think I can run a test. Let me have a look. Raid warnings. How the fuck do I test this shit? Um, well, when I get into the raid, I'll show you. So yeah, but I just generally have all my DBM shit coming on the right hand side here, just so that I can see it pick up quickly, and I can predict when shit comes in. But yeah, I'll quickly go onto the Groffy now and can show you the UI in action. So I'm at Groffy now, but obviously I'll just quickly show you the thing with the buff I was speaking about. So if I augment room now, you can see how big and large it is when I get that buff. So for example on Argus and stuff, when I know I get my buff, I don't really ever have to look because I can just see the massive, you know, icon. So I think one thing that really helps with the UI is having buffs so large. So if you install LVI, the way to do it is just obviously click buffs and debuffs. Um, and then obviously click buffs, 60, debuff 60, and yeah. But I'll quickly show you how my DBM and shit works now, and where it will pop up. If these fuckers ever pull, oh fuck it, I'm gonna ninja. Okay, maybe not. But yeah. And I'll also show you the weak or I obviously have a pre-pot, which will pop up. But yeah, I just basically have my my UI is pretty simple, just weak or and an UI mixed in together. So if I quickly show the pre-pot now, if no one ninja pulls. And there we go. So obviously I have my DBM popping up there, and just my, you know, my weak or is on the side here. And then... Should if I get, I'll try and get a decimation here, just so it 
what shows what happens when shit pops up. So for example, if I'm you know raid leading now, I can see obviously clear the annihilation's coming in. So I call that. Then annihilation, so I go to soak. And then obviously decimation, I see it, can call it. So I think some some there's some way to get it so that you can see like every single fucking spell coming up on a boss, like on the right hand side. But for me I just don't have that. I just have obviously what's coming up in the next few seconds. So obviously I can see annihilation, so I can call that so everyone's ready. Annihilation, so we soak in. And obviously I have a pot. And I think the there's I think this is called a, yeah, mixed scrolling battle text. That's what the little numbers are on the side coming off. There you see that's mix I think it's mixed scrolling battle text. But yeah. But a lot of it is literally just LVI. And all this, you know, all the shit popping up now, all this shit you can't really understand, that's mixed scrolling battle text. It's not really that useful now, especially because with spells hitting so much, you just can't really even see the numbers. But obviously in BFA, when the numbers get smaller, you can obviously see what's doing the most damage. And that's one of my weak as well, procs. That's for when, I, um, when I'm on Fire Mage, it shows me how many procs of the wrists I've got. Now obviously, that's my vulnerable window. Eradication. So obviously I can see this is the boss window. And then this is the target window. So say if I'm a healer and I'm targeting someone here, the boss's health will always be there, whereas my target is there. So decimation, I know I've got it. Take it off. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my UI. If there's anything I've missed out, then just put it in the um, in the comments and I'll, I'll cover it. But it's pretty simple, just that it's got a few of my tweaks I've had with uh, LVI and obviously some people use big wigs and DBM you know I just use bit DBM and just use default so I've literally just downloaded it and this is what it does for me so there's nothing really you got to change there but I'm pretty sure big wigs you can customize a lot a lot more to your liking but this is just what I do I'm lazy so yeah that's it anyway I'll just finish off this graphic for you so you can see a big fat log I think the last one should be coming up soon. But yeah, if there's anything else you want to see with my UI wise or you know how I do shit, then just comment it and I'll do it. But yeah. Anyway, see you in the next video and have a good.